folks, welcome to the Mandolin Tune of the Week. Thanks for joining me this week. This week we've got a great tune from Andrew Marlin, mandolinist most known for his work with Mandolin Orange, now known as Watch House. But also he's released some great solo recordings under his own name, some mandolin instrumental albums, uh, three in the last few years uh, to be exact. And this is one that comes from his first record. Uh, the record's called Buried in a Cape. This is kind of an old-time inspired tune called Wooden Spoon Over by the Sink. Now before we get started, there is a tab in the description below. I run a Patreon account, which means that for three months you can get access to tabs and backing tracks for all of these lessons here on YouTube. And you can also pay $8 a month and get a whole bunch of bonus lessons that are only available on Patreon. Now this is a pretty simple little tune. It's got a really short A part, really short B part. Uh, the only weird thing about it is it has an odd measure towards the end of the A section and the end of the B section. It's got a measure of one beat instead of two beats like the rest of the tune. So I'll go ahead and play just the A part now slowly and then we'll break it down a little bit. that's the whole A section there. Pretty short. Uh, we'll just repeat that once more and then we would move on to the B part. So breaking that down, we're going to start here by hammering on to this A note. That's the fifth fret of the E string and we're going to do that with our ring finger. And we're coming from the second fret here with our index finger, which is the F sharp note. And just try that much. So using your pinky here to catch the seventh fret, that's a B. And then we'll play this uh, little D arpeggio. Uh, just with these two middle fingers. And that's going to be our whole first phrase. So once more, that's going to sound like this. Now moving on, we're going to play a phrase over the two chord, which is going to be the E major. We're in the key of D. So we're going to start out by sliding from the 1st fret to the 2nd fret on the A string, as well as including that open E string with our right hand pick strokes. And then we're going to take our ring finger and slide it from the 5th to the 7th fret, that's the D to the E, or the flat 7 to the 1. And we're going to catch this E string there. and just get up to that F sharp and then back down to that B note. And when we land on that B note, we're gonna hammer it on. And once again, include that open E string with our right hand pick strokes. So that second phrase all together is gonna sound something like this. So now we're going to move on to the G chord, and our next phrase will sound like this. So with our index finger here, we're going to hammer on from the 2nd fret to the 5th fret with our ring, which is going to be the D note, a B to a D note. And we're just going to include our middle finger here on that G, just like that, uh, to kind of give us this strong G chord. An open A, and then 4-2 or F sharp uh, E. So, and then we're just going to basically play this C chord. So keep your index finger in place here on the E, that's the second fret. And then fret the C note with your ring finger, kind of make this two note C chord, and then we'll just slide it up to a D. So altogether that sounds something like this. Now there's just one phrase left uh, in this A part, and it's the last phrase, and we'll play this same phrase that ends in the B part as well. And the whole B part is kind of built out of this idea. But I'll just go ahead and play this phrase once. It's got a crooked bar 
So it's the count is going to be one, one, two, and then one, two going forward. So one, two, one, one, two, if we were to go from before that. So playing that last phrase that we just did going through the end would sound something like this. That last phrase is just going to be basically that idea. So I'm starting on the fourth fret here, then the sixth fret, then getting back to that D chord. And then once I've played that open D, I'm just going to slide this D chord once again that we've been using from a half step below. That would be the third and the sixth fret like that. So once again, one, two, and that's the whole A part. So I'll go ahead and play it all once more together. One, two, three, four. Now moving on to the B section, I'll go ahead and play it once here and then we'll start to break it down. So one, two, three, four. So we're going to start out by playing this lick. And that's going to be the foundation of this B part, so go ahead and play that once more. And then the first time through, we're going to play this. And I'm just sliding once more into that D double stop from a half step below. And then I'm catching the open D string, and then sliding down on that F, which is the third fret, into the second fret, and then open. And then we're going to start with that same first half and play a different double stop this time. We're going to play kind of this D7, which is going to be sliding your ring finger from the 6th to the 7th fret and then fretting with your index finger that C note, which is the 3rd fret of the A string, and playing the same ending as the first time. So together those both will sound something like this. Next, we're going to play the exact same idea that we started this B section with. And then we're going to use our tag from the A section. So altogether, that B section is going to sound something like this. One, two, three, four. Folks, that's Wooden Spoon Over by the Sink, uh, written by Andrew Marlin on his album Buried in a Cape. I'd encourage you to go check out that album and his most recent, uh, his two most recent, actually. They came out both uh, in early 2021. A couple of great mandolin records, uh, great sounds, great players, great tunes. Nothing bad to say about them. So thanks for joining me here on the Tune of the Week. Uh, make sure to come back every Saturday. There's a new tune. Uh, here on YouTube. So if this is your first time, welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you. Thanks for giving me a reason to do this every week. Uh, it's been a fun project and I got some great tunes in store. So once again, this is Wooden Spoon over by the sink. I'll play it once more. Feel free to play along.